have a, a, an experiment which is looking at how many microbes there are in the building, specifically on the hand, different handles in the building. I'm going to give you one of these. You have to be careful not to touch it at all, okay? So, so hold it like that and try not to touch it on anything or yourself. Then when you get to your door handle, if this is your door handle or surface you've been given, you have to be careful. You need to swab it, so you need to twist it backwards and forwards like that over the whole surface, making sure it's in contact, touching the whole surface. Well, and then lift it up, and then you're going to bring that back to me, and we're going to read that on our machine, okay? Okay, but don't touch it on these. Don't touch the swabs against anything. It's really important. Okay. We expect to find you know, different um, numbers of bacteria on the different handles depending on where they're located. Um, on the outside door we expect to be heavily contaminated and with fewer bacteria on the inside doors, um, and obviously the more public the area the more bacteria we expect to find. Let's take it back, really careful, watch out, don't touch anything else. We measure how much ATP there is in them. So that solution contains detergent and it disrupts the bacteria, it releases ATP, and then there are enzymes in there called luciferase, which reacts with the ATP, which is light, and we measure how much light is produced. 20. Was the C, was it? 2720 relative light units, which is a measure of how many bacteria there are. Okay. And then okay. here we've got, got M. This is M. All right. Oh, you got M. Yeah. M. Right. So this is M. Right. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. In it goes. Right. So it's measuring. Make sure you do that. And there's another experiment. It's going to be more or less. It's a brilliant bathroom. This is. Less? Oh, more. Oh, no, it was, it was oh, 108. Five, one, three, 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 nine. Is it down? Because it's closer to the door. Okay. Right, do you think so? That's fine. And more people use it, do you think? The highest value for the whole day, unfortunately, it was in the men's toilets, the entrance to the men's toilets, and that was uh, 26,000 <laughs> units. In fact, it's so large, it's not, it's not really put onto the scale. Probably the most interesting bit about the data is that it's incredibly variable. Because the amount of variation we've got, we'd probably have to sample a lot more to really pick out if there's any true differences. There's hints of differences. Maybe this forum corridor uh, and the women's toilets, they've got quite small error bars, so they may be more consistently low. But the larger bars, they've got such big error, it's really difficult to say if they're really truly different. We'd either have to be far more precise and what we do, or we need to realise that it's an experiment and get in the idea of experimentation for children, also to realise that maybe the first time they've done an experiment, and therefore a little bit of uh, free um, sampling may not be unexpected. Mm -hmm.